Okay, welcome back. So today I want to do a surveying FE type question and we're looking at leveling in this specific example. So we will find the elevation at a specific point and it's going to be our point B. But if we read the question carefully, we're told a surveyor reads a backside of 3.474 meters on point A and the foresight of 2.005 meters on point B. The elevation of point A is 324.014 meters and the elevation in meters of point B is most nearly what? Here we're essentially doing differential leveling and we start at point A. So our point A is going to be our benchmark. We always usually have that benchmark. Not usually, we always have the benchmark. This is going to be a set elevation, typically by the, if you're in the U.S., the USGS. So this is a known elevation, and we're taking a back site to this point A, our benchmark elevation. So let's draw a picture. It would make more sense in a picture, and if you've done this in real life, it would make greater sense since you've had hands-on experience. So let's begin by drawing our instrument. So we set up our instrument. Okay. We have our instrument set up and it's going to be on the ground. Usually you want it flat, right? And we know we have a backside reading of the this, this, right? It's going to be this height, 3.474 meters. It's a reading from, from the instrument to a rod, right? It's a backside reading to point A, which is our benchmark. So let's write that down. It's going to be a backside reading, backside of the, it's going to be 3.474 meters. And we're going to have our rod here. Let's say our elevation is going to be like this. We have our rod. And it's going to be around 3.5. So let's do 1, 2, okay, let me do it here. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's around 3.5, okay? 3.474. We take it to the rod. Usually the rod is held by our buddy that holds the rod. And we are standing here and taking that measure, that reading using the instrument. So that's that. And we know specifically that at point A, this is point A, our benchmark, the elevation is 324.014 meters. That's given, right? So what we just took care of is this backside reading and this elevation. Now let's do the foresight reading. It's going to be to the right. So the foresight reading is going to be this way. And we know this foresight reading is 2.005. That means since 2.005 is on the lower side, it's going to be somewhere down here uh, with respect to the rod. It's going to be here. It means our elevation at this end is going to be higher. So we're going to have a higher elevation here. So let me just make sure I draw this correctly. We're going to have some higher elevation at this side so let's say this is one this is two so our elevation is going to be higher at point B so this is just conceptually it makes sense it should be higher at point B so when you're looking at the answer choices our answer should be higher than 324 so let's just say we're gonna essentially take out well three this one is fine but what this one doesn't make sense. The 318 does not make sense. So we should be higher than 324.014 for the elevation at point B. That's what we're going to find. The elevation at B is going to be our unknown. What's this elevation? And the foresight here, let's just write that down, is 2.005 meters. So we have that. Now, how do I determine the elevation at B, which is what we want to find? You take the elevation at A plus the backside reading. So we take the elevation here at A. We add the backside reading. Then we go across and subtract the foresight reading 
to get the elevation at B. Once again, we take the elevation at A plus the backside reading. We're at this level, right? You can move across. We go to the foresight, subtract that, and it will give us the elevation at B. So let's write that down. The elevation at B is going to equal to the elevation at A plus the backside reading of 3.474 minus the foresight. So the elevation at B equals the elevation at A is 324.014 meters plus the backside reading which is 3.474 meters minus 2.005 meters for the foresight. So we can solve for the elevation at B and what I got when I did the calculation is 325.483 meters and this would be our answer and it makes sense because it's going to be higher than the elevation at A. So we concluded that and we got the 325.483 and it should be A. That's all. Let me know if you need help, have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe and like, please. Take care.